I was rushing to fill an order. I put the ladder up to grab a box of three hole from the top shelf. Next thing I know, I'm on the ground, ladder's on top of me. And that's how you broke your ankle? Yes. Hmm, interesting. How did that ladder end up on top of you if you fell off of it? It's not concerning you, man. You need to walk away. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I thought this was a free country. I didn't know we were in communist Sweden. If we were living in Sweden, I wouldn't have to worry about this because we have universal health care. Mm, that's that. Okay. Be quiet. I'm talking about... Hmm. I will send this off to corporate. Make sure you hold on to your medical bills. Feel better. Thanks, too, man. Later. So long, Daryl. Feel better. He's lying. He has a doctor's note. Oh, from who? Dr. J? You really need to investigate this. People only just fall off of ladders. The guy on my street fell off a ladder painting his house. It's on the news. Since when have you known Daryl to rush to do anything other than to come up here for birthday cake? Y'all having birthday cake? It's not a very good Daryl. And how many foremen do you know that pull boxes? Hmm. It just doesn't add up. Well, we did a little investigation, and Dwight had a good point. The ladder didn't reach the top shelf. I don't know if I believe it, but I am a fan of the hard-boiled detective novel. I'll punch you into mush, see? It sounds like a EMD P40. Nah. That's a GE. The P40 is much higher pitched. You're in the trains? I've been my whole life. Wow. I'm rebuilding a turn-of-the-century steam engine in my slaughterhouse. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow, I'd love to take a look at that. Yeah, it's just a run-in-the-mill slaughterhouse, but sure, anytime. Well, you know, because of the trains. Oh, boy, someone's coming. Oh, boy. Oh, it's Daryl. Get down. Oh, He's not using crutches. Oh, good. Get, get the there. camera. Get, get Start there. taping. Drive. Oh, workers. Oh, my ass. I can't believe this. Oh, yeah, you ass. Toby. You gonna eat all that dog food yourself? <laughs> Oh, dip, oh, oh, boy, oh, no. No. oh, 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 Are you, are you serious? Because you look exactly alike? Am I the only Too one? Far. Are you getting this? No, I, I mean, I don't see it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm calling corporate and I'm filing a complaint against both of you. Oh, Daryl. Come on, Gwen. Sad. Hey, Daryl. Look, uh, we're here to apologize. You cool? Wait! They're using the lift as their own personal elevator. What? He broke his ankle, climbing over the railing, then he lied about it because it was a misuse of company equipment. Case closed. <laughs> Stupidest thing I've heard. Really? Then why is there new wood only on one railing? Hmm? Let's just check the security tapes, Toby. Well, hmm. yeah, no, I don't think there's any reason to check them, but I suppose if we wanted to be really certain. Uh, yeah, fine, so whatever. Yes! You really did it. Now, I would like to file an official complaint to corporate because Daryl lied on an official form. And I'm telling them you guys sexually harassed my sister. No judge is gonna believe that. Okay. Look, we could all file complaints against each other and just drown in a sea of paperwork, but you know, we'll just move on with our with our lives. So, Dwight and Daryl came to an agreement that they would both file complaints with corporate, and that's why I get to do all this paperwork. We worked it out.